Bonjour. Today for the release of Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1, I will show you how to make the glue effect on the logo title in Procreate. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Bloom and Gaussian Blur adjustments to easily create the glowy effect and add a movement effect with my free particle brush. All the resources I'm going to use, like this color palette and this brush, are available for free in the description just below this video. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the following canvas settings. First, we will set the color of your background. Go to your layers panel, select the background color layer and select this dark color from the color palette. Now, import the letter S that you can download below this video. Tap the color button. Drop this red color from the color palette inside the letter, then hold your Apple Pencil on your screen. Color drop threshold appears at the top of your screen. Slide to the right to make sure color drop completely fill your letter. Then you can drop the color also on those parts of your letter. Now let's use Gaussian Blur to add a halo around your letter. Duplicate this layer, select the bottom one, go to the Adjustments menu and tap Gaussian Blur, then slide to the right to adjust the amount of blur. Now, let's use Bloom to accentuate the neon effect on some parts of your letter. Select this layer and tap the Adjustments menu icon. Tap Bloom. At the top of your screen, tap the little triangle, then tap Pencil. Now the effect applies only where you use your Apple Pencil. Go to your brush library. Airbrushing brush set and select the soft brush. Slide with your finger to the right to put the amount of bloom to 100%. Put the burn slider to max and try your brush on one part of your letter. Then play with the size and transition sliders to set the strength of the effect that suits you best. For me, transition at 30% and size to 20% seem good. Now that the settings are good, use your brush slightly on some parts of your letter. Now, let's add masks on both layers to reduce the effect on some parts of your letter. Tap on your layer, then tap Mask. Make sure to use the soft brush with the color black. Use it slightly on some parts of your letter. Then repeat the process on this layer.
Now let's add some colors to your background to enhance the atmosphere. Create a new layer at the bottom of your layers panel. Grab the soft brush with this red color. Reduce your brush opacity to 60%. Then use it where you used the bloom effect the most on your artwork. Now let's add particles to create the movement effect. First, create a new layer on top of your layers panel. Select the particles brush from my brush bundle. Use it by tapping it on your screen along your letter. Go to the Adjustments menu and tap Perspective Blur, then slide to the right to adjust the amount of blur. Tap on your layer and tap Mask. Then erase particles that don't look right. For the finishing touches, create a new layer on top, tap the Actions menu, Add, copy canvas, then paste. Go to the adjustments menu. Tap sharpen. Slide to adjust to 60%. Go to the adjustments menu again. Tap chromatic aberration. Slide to adjust to 7%. Go back to the Adjustments menu one last time. Tap Noise and slide to adjust to 10%. Et voilà! If you find this tutorial helpful, the best thing you can do to support me is to click on the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more lettering tutorials in Procreate. I'd like also to take this opportunity to tell you that if you want to get weekly tutorials, lettering brushes and color palettes directly to your inbox for free, you can join my newsletter thanks to the link available in the description. So until the next one, bonsoir!